today on Beyond Six Seconds. I keep getting better and better and better because I'm being treated on so many different levels of healing. And it's fantastic to see there are so many people out there who are searching for these different types of therapies, like how you can just kind of stack them all together and you can kind of pick and choose like, oh, I resonate with this person or I resonate with that person in that therapy. And it's just so exciting to see. Welcome to Beyond Six Seconds, the podcast that goes beyond the six second first impression to share the extraordinary stories and achievements of everyday people. I'm your host, Carolyn Keel. On today's episode, I'm speaking with Shannon Vialba. Shannon is an entrepreneur, lawyer, and holistic health practitioner based in the Cincinnati area. During her bout with small cell cervical cancer, a rare and aggressive neuroendocrine cancer, she used many holistic and complementary medicine therapies in addition to traditional treatments. As a result of this journey, she created Heim Wellness, healing through inspiration, motivation, and education. Heim Wellness is a company that provides resources for both practitioners and the community at large with resources for holistic therapies and provides the tools to help them live happier, healthier, meaningful, and more purpose-driven lives. Shannon, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on here, Carolyn. Yeah, absolutely. So glad that you're here today. So tell me, how did you get the inspiration to start Heim Wellness? I am a cancer survivor. And while I was going through treatments, I had chemotherapy and radiation. I used a plethora of holistic therapies to help me on my journey. I was diagnosed with small cell cervical cancer, and this was back in December of 2015. And I thought I was originally staged at 2B2. And I found out later after I got better that I was actually a stage four. Wow. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty rough. And I, I approached my oncologist and I said that I wanted to do a lot of holistic therapies. I didn't want to do chemotherapy or radiation. And she basically said that with the type of cancer that I have, that there wasn't enough time. Mm. So I said, fine, if you're going to make me do this, I'm going to do all of this. Mm -hmm. And so I, in five months with the combination of therapies that I was doing, I became cancer free. Wow. So after I was cancer free, I was reading this book called The Art of Why by my mentor, Stephen Luckenbach. And it was talking about living your purpose. And I just remember just sitting there in my bathtub, reading this book, thinking I'm alive. I survived one of the most devastating diseases that's out there. And what is my purpose? Why am I alive? And I said, and just kept hearing from, you know, spirit, universe, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, you knew where to go for holistic therapies. And I said, yeah, because I've been studying meditation, aromatherapy for a long time. And, but there's not a company, at least in Cincinnati, that I knew that I could go to for as a resource besides, you know, some of these magazines, there wasn't a company out there that listed different types of holistic healers and therapists and integrative doctors. And so I decided to create Heim Wellness and Heim Wellness not only provides that resource and directory, but it also serves as a networking group for specifically for holistic practitioners. So you've got your business networking groups, but there are a lot of different nuances and specific issues that holistic practitioners encounter that they might not necessarily be able to address in a traditional business networking environment. So I just I decided to add that aspect to Heim Wellness. So we have a business network for practitioners where we provide services through collaboration, helping them running their business and working together as a collaborative in Heim Wellness for outreach programs. And then we have the classes and the outreach programs that we do for the community. And Heim actually is short for Healing Through Inspiration, Motivation, and Education. Oh, 
I, I would imagine that people who are facing a, a significant life-changing illness, you know, everyone kind of has their own approach and path. What was it about holistic medicine that made you realize early on that you definitely wanted to pursue that as a, a main avenue of cure? Was it something you had studied earlier or um, how, how did that come about? Well, I had started studying meditation and um, I went on a vision quest and I did a lot of studying different types of therapies when I lived in Los Angeles back in the early 2000s. -hmm. And then when my son was born, he had really bad eczema. He has a condition called eosinophilic esophagitis. Mm -hmm. And I started studying aromatherapy to help him. And I was really open to any kinds of therapies to help me heal, to help my son heal. So it was just a natural fit. When I was sick, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I needed to change my nutrition. I needed to be open. I needed to do meditations that would still my mind and affirmations and visualizations for healing. And I was just open to any type of therapy that would make me better. Yeah, and it's great that you were able um, to bring that together with Heim Wellness so that more people in the community can find those resources and uh, and take advantage of them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Thank T- you. Tell me a little more about how Heim Wellness serves the community. So Heim Wellness serves the community in several aspects. We do have these big events that feature our members. So this past event that we had was called Mind, Brain, and Resilience. And we had Lisa Murphy-Taylor. She is a holistic nurse, and she also is getting her master's in integrative nutrition. And she also is a Reiki master. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about the brain and neurofeedback, which is this wonderful therapy that helps the brain overcome trauma or just like, it's kind of difficult for me to explain. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't practice it, but I've done it. And it's a program that you listen to and it's very soothing music. And it has a series of clicks that basically redirects the brain to different areas. Because like when you have trauma or anxiety or something, like only one area of the brain is active, whereas the other parts are kind of inactive. And so through this program, listening to the music and the clicks allows the brain to self-regulate more. Mm. And it was interesting because I could see my, my brain waves, like how, when I initially started with Lisa, they were like out of control and now they were just up and down, up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. And now, now they seem more normalized in a softer wave. So it it, it really helps with self-regulation, overcoming trauma. And then our other guest was Sid Alper Sedgwick. She is Cincinnati's leading feng shui master. And she was talking about how the environment affects our brains. Mm. So that's, that's an example of an event that we do. We also have a variety of different types of classes. So we have every kind of class from an aromatherapy class to a meditation class. Last night we had a vision board class. We have a writing class. So then we have those types of classes and then we have webinars. Mm -hmm. So one of our webinars that we have that's upcoming is on Jin Shin Jitsu with a gentleman named Tom Culkin, who actually is in New York as well. Mm. And so he's going to talk about the Japanese art of energy healing. And so another way that we give back is we partner with different types of companies and charities. We have a charity here. It's called the Cancer Support Community. Mm -hmm. And we are, as a collective, are providing classes to cancer patients and survivors that visit the support center. So one of the classes that we are doing is I'm, I'm doing a mandala meditation with positive affirmations. We're doing one with color and styling. We're doing another with smoothies and healthy eating. So there's a variety of things that we can give back in that way. And then we just, we're just prevalent in the community. We're open to helping different types of people. And we have a Facebook group and we have a YouTube channel and an Instagram account. So the typical social media Mm -hmm, (laughs) mm -hmm. for people to find information. And what I've been doing has been highlighting our practitioners through these documentary series so people can see who are these practitioners, what are they doing, what are their strengths and their different types of therapies. It's kind of like an easy way to get to know 
what holistic therapy is about. So we, our first series has has featured Sid and Lisa because they had their event. And then we also have our chiropractor, TJ Lonergan. And then we have s- some other chiropractors that we're going to do as well. And it's because everybody is different. So it's kind of like a great way for people who are interested in these types of therapies to move forward with learning because there's different types of chiropractors, there's different types of nurses, there's different types of like, even like, there's more, we even have some more people who are like esoteric, like one of our, our members is Ken Day, and he's a shaman. Mm. He loves to work with businesses and people, but like, if he's looking at a business, he looks at the soul of the business and how to how to move the company forward. And you know, the culture of the business. It's, it's fascinating. So you can go from a chiropractor and integrative doctor and a holistic nurse to some of the more esoteric, the shamanism, the energy healers, the Reiki masters, the Tibetan sound bowl therapists, you know, those kind of things. And so, but if you put them all together, you can see how, because I am like the living testimony of these practitioners as I've used almost all of our practitioners in my recovery process. I have gone to see a chiropractor. I've seen an integrative doctor. I've seen an energy healer. I've seen Sid for feng shui. And I keep getting better and better and better because I'm being treated on so many different levels of healing. And it's fantastic to see, especially when there are so many people out there who are searching for these different types of therapies, like how you can just kind of stack them all together and you can kind of pick and choose like, oh, I resonate with this person or I resonate with that person in that therapy. And it's just so exciting to see. So that's that's how we help the community. <laughs> wow. So that's a really wide range of resources. Probably a lot of things that you know, maybe people have never even heard of or never knew existed. And it's great to have them in one place. So that's great. Right. Because like, even when you think about using a shaman, you know, it's like, it's not the traditional medicine person with the feathers and the crystals and everything else. I mean, you look at Ken, he's just a normal everyday average guy, but he's extremely powerful. Wow. He can really help you. (laughs) Wow. That's so interesting. So when did you get started with Heim Wellness? I started Heim Wellness in August of 2016, and I slowly started it out with a blog, my personal blog, and I knew where I wanted to go with it. But at the same time, I was recovering from my treatments with chemo fog, and I had, you know, post-traumatic stress Mm. from all everything that I went into was in all the treatments that I had and all of the trauma of going through the radiation tube and losing my hair, losing my hearing. So it took me a while to get it to get it to where it is now, but I can't believe it. It's been like almost two years. <laughs> wow. You know, starting off a new business like this, what were some of the first activities that you did to get it started? Did you have to identify and bring together all these different practitioners or what did you do at the beginning to get it started? So in the beginning, I just kind of had my dream and I started throwing that out there. And like I said, I started my blog and then I started looking around to see different types of practitioners and who are out there who might want to be involved. And I kind of did a lot of research on what different types of networks were out there, what different types of therapies were out there and just kind of came all together when I just started meeting the right people at the right time who were coming into my life. And we've gone through a few iterations of the business on that side. But once we started getting going and doing our events and meeting more people and seeing the way that this company could really make a difference in the community, it just started taking off. And I mean, we're still growing because we had an open house in January. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff that we're doing now. That's great. Yeah. And even in two years, it's great to see, you know, from a dream and an idea to something that's offering all of these different services to the community. I think that's really great growth. So Heim Wellness has been in operation for about two years, you said. In that time, have you had any particularly meaningful success stories, either from clients or practitioners that you'd like to share? Um, sure. We have, we've had several people like in conjunction they have used several of our practitioners and have come up to me and said, this is just amazing. I I didn't know this information was out there. I didn't know about this type of therapy. And 
a lot of times they're just speechless. They're just, they're like, this is such a great resource. We, we didn't even know this existed Mm. (laughs) because, you know, sometimes, you know, people live in a bubble and when people hear the words holistic therapies or integrative or functional medicine, they're kind of like leery, like, what is that? And the, what we're promoting is in addition to traditional medicine, use these therapies in addition to, you want a whole spectrum. So I, can, I can't I can speak really for other people, but I can tell you for myself that the combination of using neurofeedback and chiropractic and meditation and healing energy through Reiki or emotional polarity technique, I just, I think it has taken years off my healing journey Mm. because I've been able to deal with the post-traumatic stress a lot better. For example, I am doing a documentary series on myself because I want people to see that journey. Back a year ago or even, you know, eight months ago, I couldn't even really talk about and say without tears in my eyes that I had cancer. Mm. And now I can, and now I can walk tall and now I feel healthier and I feel stronger emotionally and physically because of the things that I have done. Wow, that's great. And it sounds like the um, holistic treatments and and services that you used in your own recovery helped enable you to to tell your story and get through that trauma, as you said, and, and that pain. And I think that's just so important because cancer just touches, seems like almost everyone's lives, either, you know, we, we know someone in our family or friends. So I think it's really important to be able to share your journey and your story. So that's exciting that you're working on a documentary. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, I want people to know that it's not scary. And I want people to see that this is relatable. That this is, this is something that's coming from my heart. This is, this is my purpose in life is to bring this education. And that's what high wellness does. It's healing through inspiration. I want to inspire people. I want to motivate people. I want to educate people. And all of our practitioners in our community want the same thing. We want to help people take charge of their wellness choices. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of facing and overcoming challenges, tell me about, say, the biggest challenge that you faced in either launching or just day-to-day running of Heim Wellness, and and how do you address and overcome that challenge? Well, some of the challenges that I am having now is just that there's just so much content to get out there, and I have to take a step back sometimes and say, okay, how are we going to get this out there? How, what kind of events can we do? What kind of classes can we do? Because we just want to get it all out there. And I'm like, okay, I need to strategize a little bit more. And me being a lawyer as well, I know that strategy for legal stuff. So I'm mm-hmm. trying to apply it now to the business. But Heim Wellness has kind of taken on its own personality. And sometimes, you know, Shannon gets lost in high wellness. <laughs> and so I'm learning more and more about taking myself out of it and letting high wellness be its own entity. And especially with social media. Oh my gosh. Like there's so many different avenues to get content out and I'm not into marketing. I, I'm a lawyer, I'm a business mm-hmm. and intellectual property attorney. So I'm learning a lot about marketing really quickly. <laughs> oh, wow. So it sounds like it's really just you right now doing the whole managing everything with it, the relationships and the marketing and the whole legal structure. It sounds like some expansion may be in the future in terms of adding staff, I would hope, as you oh, continue yeah, to grow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're definitely in the market for some interns right now. <laughs> awesome. So what are your goals for Heim Wellness? Like, where do you see it going a couple years out? Where would you like to see it growing to? We have always envisioned Heim Wellness is going to be a global company. We are based out of Cincinnati and we're thinking we're going to have a base here. And then, of course, I want to have another base in Florida. That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And then maybe in a retreat center someplace out west. So then that's here in the United States. But we just want to continue growing starting here and then moving out and moving out, moving out and 
going to different major cities and saying, what types of practitioners are out here who wants to join our community? How can we get out the word about different types of modalities that are out there, the different types of therapies, connecting with people more online with classes and outreach programs and working in with together with other companies for different types of programs. I mean, the sky's the limit for us. And I'm so open, but I know that we can do it with different types of strategic alliances and finding the right people who want to join our community and make a difference in the world. That's fantastic. And I know I keep referring to, you know, serving the community. And I'm assuming right now that community is uh, the Cincinnati area. Is that correct? So it's mainly correct. localized. Right. There. But, with, but of course, it's a, a lot. All of our stuff is online. Mm. As we even do some of our live, our big events with Facebook Live, so people are able to see what we're up to. People are able to see the different documentaries that series that we have because we have it on our YouTube channel. So potentially, you know, we could have people over in India looking at what we're doing, and that's what we really, really want. Wow. That's true. The, the power of social media and, and all of the different online resources, you really can reach beyond your, your local physical area and, and share those resources more widely. That's awesome. Thank you. So how can people get in touch with you to learn more about Heim Wellness? Well, we have different avenues. So you can visit us on our website at heimwellness.com, H-I-M-E wellness.com. We have a Facebook page under Heim Wellness, Healing Through Inspiration, Motivation, and Education. We have a YouTube channel for Heim Wellness. We have an Instagram account. We have a Twitter account. And we also have a LinkedIn page. Wow. Or in a Google Plus. I just started that. And then also people can send me an email at info at heimwellness.com. I'd, I'd love to hear from different people to see how we may collaborate or if they want to join us or if they want more information or they have some suggestions. I would love it. That's fantastic. As we close out, is there anything else that you'd like our listeners to know or anything that they can help or support you with? Well, we are looking, like I said, we're looking for other holistic practitioners to join us. We're looking for strategic partners uh, any other companies who are interested in a corporate wellness program or an outreach program, or just people who are interested in learning more about holistic therapies and have an idea or a suggestion for something for us to do or a class. Wonderful. So I'll put your contact information in the show notes and anyone who has an idea, a suggestion, or a question about Heim Wellness can reach out to you using that information. Shannon, thank you so much for sharing the story behind Heim Wellness and telling us all about the great impact you're having on the Cincinnati community and beyond. I'm looking forward to see where you go from here and how you continue to grow. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to the Beyond Six Seconds podcast. Please subscribe to the show in iTunes or your favorite podcast player so you won't miss any episodes. You can also find all the show notes and links we discussed in this episode at our website www.beyond6seconds.com. Until next time.